This video is going to be showing the basics of painting with the Mayalika technique using the teacher's palette glazes from Amico. So students, the first thing you want to do is really mix up your glaze. You could use a paintbrush, you could use a small little scraper spatula like this, or you could use one of the small baby whisks I have in my room. You want to mix the glaze until it's the consistency of a melted milkshake. If they've been sitting for a month or two, they will be thick. So you can see I'm adding just a little bit of water at a time, and you want to do it until it runs freely off the spatula or off the brush or the whisk. You want it to be able to be drippy and kind of flow off. So again, like a melted milkshake is the consistency that we're going for. So the sketch sheets uh, are just a little bit bigger than the finished coasters. I'm just redrawing it um, to frame it in slightly smaller. And uh, students, you will have already sketched your designs. You could actually have something printed out from the computer if you wanted to have something that you're tracing. Now, I'm just using a marker here to define this for the video so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Now, I'm flipping my design over and I'm taking a pencil and I'm coloring in the back side. So I put the back side down where the pencil marks were and then I'm just tracing over the front side now. When you trace over it, it transfers the pencil from the back side. So this is handy if you, again, are trying to trace something exactly. Maybe you have a picture printed out from the internet and you uh, wanted to trace something exactly. I have redrawn the pencil line so I can see it better. Now, as I am beginning to apply my glaze, I'm thinning it out with a little bit of water because I'm trying to go for a blended sort of a watercolor effect, and I'm just kind of layering my colors uh, together a little bit. But again, these are thin coats because I have thinned it with water. You can use the color straight out of the jar. In that case, you just use one layer, one heavy layer is plenty, don't overdo it. Again, mine are thinner and I've put on multiples because I have thinned mine. We are using the teacher's palette glazes on top of the teacher's choice white base glaze and that works great for Mialika. Again, you can use the teacher's palette straight from the jar so they're very opaque or you can thin them like watercolors and you can layer and blend them like I am doing here. This is entirely a low fire technique. I fire it to cone 05 and it is done on earthenware clay. Again, the pencil lines will not be visible after it is fired. The pencil lines are just there as a guide and they burn off in the kiln. Lastly, I'm going to uh, add a little bit of a frame here to the outside. And for this, I'm using the uh, caramel color straight from the jar, adding a little bit of detail there to make it look a little bit like wood. I did go down on the edge of the coaster to the bottom of where the white was, and there we go. Now, I do need to still finish wiping the edges. So you want to make the edges tidy and uniform. Remember where we had that pencil line, make sure that your glaze does not go down beyond that or lower than that pencil line. It can be above it, that's fine. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more uniform and tidy. Now, if you have an area, say those couple of drips where it's really thick, you gotta get those off because those would stick in the kiln. You can scrape them if you want. I just use the edge of my pencil, the tip of my pencil to scrape that. Make sure you have nothing on the back and that is done and ready for firing. And that's how you apply Mialika glaze to the low fire coasters. Mm -hmm.